We came together as a coalition because we thought it was very important to be able to educate the public, educate local residents and people who visit on the benefits of protecting the dark sky. And what that means is that light pollution is something that can have detrimental effects on many different things. Light pollution exists all over the North Fork, basically anywhere where there's excessive outdoor lighting, but people don't realize that this creates a problem for human health, for birds and other animals, flora and fauna alike, can be affected by excessive light pollution. We also can say that a clear dark sky is something that we all cherish very much. We like to go out and be able to observe the stars. And when there's too much light pollution, then that definitely hinders that ability. So North Fork Audubon has been involved in different advocacy projects. We were the first uh, organization to sort of uh, call for the town to do a plastic bag ban which eventually the county did and then New York State, which is wonderful. And we were one of the, we were one of the first. Um, we were very successful um, in advocating for that. And I think we did play a role in helping uh, New York State to understand and to um, actually get a plastic bag ban put into place. Um, it's just been really important for people to understand that plastic is um, so harmful to wildlife, to birds in particular. Uh, plastic stays in our environment virtually forever and um, it's manufactured with fossil fuels so it, it contributes greatly to climate change. One of the things that I, I care deeply about, of course, is climate change. So about oh, four or five years ago, we had received a grant from National Audubon to put on a climate conference. We did that for two years. The first year we had speakers, energy specialists, we had um, local naturalists, we had some people from Audubon. It was really well attended. And the second year we had more of an Audubon focus and we had a lot of national Audubon folks come down and talk about what Audubon was doing. It's important for people to realize that climate change has an incredible impact on birds, especially migratory birds. Their habitats are affected by rising sea levels, um, birds, the seasons are changing and um, habitats are altered as a result of it. Uh, food sources are changing for birds as a result of climate change as well. And we as individuals need to be doing as much as we possibly can at this moment to make sure that our planet uh, our um, wildlife and our futures are um, ensured for um, many, many generations to come. So, um, you know, people say, what? My boss said, oh, there was a heron in my farm field. Um, you know, that's odd to me, right? But he's looking for food. He was there to, to for food. So um, I was proud of that, that Debbie O'Kane and myself worked on that grant proposal. And then um, one of our former board members, Kelly Knutson, um, kind of tuned it up and we were very happy to get that pretty substantial grant. North Fork Audubon has also been in the forefront of pesticide education and uh, it's important to realize that the park here is maintained with no toxic chemicals whatsoever. We do not use any pesticides. It is a really good model for people to uh, come and visit our gardens and realize that everything is maintained um, without any sort of toxic uh, chemicals that could harm birds, could harm uh, beneficial insects, harm our important pollinators and um, again it just serves as a wonderful model and example for people to follow that um, you can grow and have beautiful uh, landscaping without um, 
using things that, that um, can actually compromise our wildlife.